in my previous video, I was talking about uh, y is equal to sine of x and uh, y is equal to minus sine of x. So we saw uh, y is equal to sine of x has a period of 360 degree and amplitude, amplitude of 1 and a pitch of 90 degree. So we're going at a step of 90 or a pitch of 90. So this is one cycle or one period of 360 degree. So here, uh, this one, there's a one sitting here which tells you the amplitude. So here, the one, one is the amplitude here and the period is 360 degree. For minus sign graph, it's the same thing, but instead of from starting from baseline, instead of going to the maximum, it goes to the minimum. Okay, so let us uh, think of other transformation. Suppose what happens if you have got a graph, you have to graph y is equal to sine of x plus two. Okay, so here I I look at this and sorry plus two. So here this plus two. Uh, shifts your sine graph to up. Okay, so here, uh, let me go back. So here, your baseline, so here you can say this equation can be written as one sine of x plus zero. So you're start starting at zero, so your baseline is zero here. And your amplitude is one. So from zero, you're going one up and one down. In this equation, by looking at two, I can say the baseline my baseline is 2. You're starting at 2. And my amplitude is 1. The coefficient of x is the amplitude. Okay, though it is sitting here, it is not visible. So your amplitude is 1. So to find the maximum, from baseline you're going 1 up. Okay, so it's 2 plus 1. So your maximum is 3. And your minimum minimum you are from baseline you're going you're taking away the amplitude oops you're taking away the amplitude so your minimum is baseline minus amplitude which is 2 minus 1 which is 1 okay and your period is 360 your period these are good exercise or this is if you write these things it's very easy to draw the graph so your pitch is going to be 360 divided by 4 your pitch is 360 divided by 4 so this you can remember pitch is always your period divided by 4 which is of course here 90 degree okay so let us draw the graph first and then we'll draw check it on a calculator so this is your y-axis and this is my x-axis. Okay, so here you've got the base, your minimum is at 1. So this is not again draw to scale. This is 1. This is your baseline. And this is your maximum. Okay. So this is, let me scroll this up a slightly little. So this is, this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. This is your maximum, this is your baseline, and this is your minimum. So your baseline is where you start, so your baseline is 2. Your amp maximum is 3, because your amplitude is 1, and your minimum is 1. So here, this is again 0 degree, this is 90, this is 180 degree, this is 270, and this is 360. And you're starting at baseline, so this is your baseline. So it's not negative, so it'll hit the maximum. So let me scroll up. So from 0, from 2, from 0 to, you're going hitting the maximum. Then you come back to your baseline, you go to minimum, and you hit your baseline. So this is one full period, okay, or one full cycle. So from this is maximum, okay, from that you go to the minimum, baseline, uh, sorry, minimum and baseline. So this graph is, this is your graph of y is equal to sine of x plus 2. 
sine of x plus 2. So let us check this on it. It's always good to draw the graph and then graph it on a calculator because, because it helps you to decide the scale. So if you don't know the scale, it's very difficult to draw the graph. Okay, so let, this is my calculator. So you go to graph and then type in uh, sine of x. You can put that in the bracket if you want. Plus 2. Okay. And then draw it. So I need to look at the scale. The scale is not proper. Now, this is a radian scale. So I need to go to your set to my setup and change this to degrees. Okay. And then if I go to uh, my scale, this is radian. Again, I need to change to trig. So this is minus 540 degree to 540. So I'll change that to 0 to 360. My minimum scale is 90 is fine. Your minimum should be, I'll go from 0 to, say, 4 would do, scale of 1. Okay. I hope you understand the logic why I'm taking 0. I don't, because my b minimum is 1 and my maximum is 3. So this will uh, include my minimum and maximum and then draw it. So this is your graph. Okay. So now just to confirm, we know at 90, you have got a maximum of 3. So G sol maximum. So can you see at 90, you got a maximum of 3. And you got a minimum of 1 at 270. So G sol minimum, which is 270. Okay. So now let us draw one more graph. What happens? I want you to think yourself. Y is equal to y is equal to minus sine of x minus sine of x minus 4. What will happen here? Okay, you can pause the video for a while and try to draw this yourself. Okay, and see if you can graph it and check it on a calculator. Hopefully you have done it yourself. So these are the five or four steps I would like to write first. So when I'm looking at this, this number, not the minus, the number one tells me the amplitude is one. Okay, negative only tells me whether it's going to the maximum or minimum. So amplitude is one, don't write negative one. Negative is only telling you the direction where your sine graph will go. Your baseline is this number. So baseline is negative 4. So you, are, you can write this formula if you want. Maximum, maximum is baseline plus amplitude. This is a formula. You can use your logic. You don't need this formula. So to go to maximum, you want to add baseline, your amplitude. From baseline, you add the amplitude, so your maximum is negative 3. And your minimum, from minimum, from baseline, you have to go down. So it is baseline minus amplitude, which is negative 4, take away 1, which is negative 5. So your cosine graph is oscillating between negative 3 and negative 5. Okay, so yeah, this is enough. So here yeah, the period is 360. The coefficient of x is 1 there. So yeah, your coefficient of x is not changing. I'll come to that later on. So period is 360 degree. And your pitch is 90 degree. Pitch is 90 degree. So let me write degrees here. So to draw the graph, again the same thing. So let me draw the first. So you need the negative axis. So let's say this is your y axis and this is your x axis. Okay. So I'm interested in the negative uh, part. So this is negative one. And this is say your baseline and this is your minimum. Okay. Again, not drawn to scale. So what's your, so this is your y axis. This is your y axis. This is your x axis. Your period is 360, so this is 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360.
this is 360. Okay. So what's your maximum? Your maximum is negative 3. So uh, your, your baseline is negative 4. This is negative 4. Your maximum is negative 3 and your minimum is negative 5. So here it's negative 1. So always sine graph starts at the baseline. So let us identify. So this is my baseline. This is my maximum. And this is my minimum. So sine graph, a positive sine graph or a negative sine graph starts at the baseline. So this is baseline. Now this minus 1 tells me that I have to go to the minimum. Okay, so from baseline, you hit the minimum. Okay, you come back to your baseline at 180. You hit your maximum at 270 and come back to baseline at 360. So this is one period or one cycle. So let me use this black or red color. So this is one. I think you can draw better than me. Oops. So let me draw that. So this is your sine graph. So let us check this on a calculator. Okay, so this is so exit, and let me delete this. So our equation was minus sine of x minus 4. So we know the scale now, and that's the good thing about drawing. So the x scale is good. For y scale, y minimum should be what? Tell me, what's your minimum? Your minimum is negative 5, so I'll go from negative 6 to 0 would do. Maximum is 0. Okay, scale of 1 is fine. And this is your sine graph. So we know at 90, you have the minimum of negative 5. So G sol minimum. So at 90, you have the minimum of negative 5. And G sol, uh, this is maximum. So go maximum. At 270, you got negative 3. So I'll make uh, other videos of other transformations. So the, we have discussed two transformations. Uh, one is tra when you have a negative number, what happens when it flips over? And this is the change in the baseline. In the next video I'm going to make is what happens if you, you multiply your x with a number.